Since the start of my career, it's pretty obvious that I'm being followed by spirits and ghosts. From using Ouija boards to exploring some of the most haunted places this world has seen, I've definitely put myself in harm's way more than once. But doing this comes with a price. As a result of my curiosity, the spirits have found ways to show themselves in not only my life, but my family's lives too. In this video, I will be sharing four of the deepest, darkest stories that you've never heard before. After my last video, I've realized that you guys deserve to know the truth yet again. This video will change the way you think about the paranormal world. Sit back, relax, and make sure you're not alone when listening to these stories. Let's begin. Guys, I see these comments on these types of videos all the time, so I'm gonna save you the time and say it for you. You, you do not claim any negative energy by clicking on this video and watching it. This is for informational and educational purposes only. So I hope you guys enjoy. You are 100% safe. I hope. <laughs> Number one. The Ouija board gone horribly wrong. We're starting off with Jessica. The time that she got possessed, you never wanted to talk mm -hmm. about it. Cause I don't want to bring up any like, you Negative know, like, energy? Yeah, yeah, really. Or like just bring up the past for what when we're so all kind of over to, it. So why'd you want to talk about it? Hey, I didn't force you, I promise. No, you didn't force me. I mean, I think it's been like, what, four or five years now. So I think it's about time that everybody knows like what really happened and how it happened and yeah. And to keep people safe, right? Jessica, let's get right into this. Okay. So, it was a normal day, I hit you up, I wanted you to play the Ouija board, and I think this was your first time. Mm -hmm. Ever. I'm kind of scared a little bit. Uh, you weren't really familiar with the rules, I didn't really explain it that well, I was just really excited to get started, and I'm like, Jessica, just put your hands on the planchette. Place your fingers right here. So we started it off with the usual question. Are there any spirits out there that would like to contact us? Yes or no? Are there any spirits in this room that would like to contact us? Yes or no? Jess, you weren't a firm believer of the Ouija no. board until this moment. Yeah, I actually didn't know it was gonna move on its own. I swear I thought you guys do that all the time. I never believed it. To me, it was just a board game. That's why I didn't take it serious. But once it actually moved, I was like, there's no way. This is serious, Brian. It's actually freaking moving by itself. Hey, wait. You feel it's moving alone. You can feel there's no tension from everyone it's just gliding across exactly. the board and it's scary don't you kind of feel like there's something in your body <laughs> yeah. it's not just your hands it's more like someone is you're being controlled like sleeping floating. sleepwalking yeah. or something yeah so the worst thing you can do when you're playing the Ouija board is taking your hand off the planchette before saying goodbye who has been living can I like hey! Please, you can't! Me. You need to end the conversation with whoever you're talking to on the other side or else bad things will happen to you. But I didn't know that. You guys started freaking out. You and oh. Anthony, they were like, no, no, no. Put your hands back yeah. on, put your hands back on. And she panicked, she put her hands back uh -huh. on, but it's too it's late. It's too late and I didn't know it was too late. Yeah. I personally was scared when that happened because I've never seen anyone take their hand off. So we just asked, will you forgive Jessica for that? And it went to no. Mm -hmm. Do you forgive her for doing that? Jess, you're dumb. Jessica, why'd you let go? No, I, I should have told you the rules. In my head, I was really, really scared. I didn't want to show it in front mm -hmm. of you guys. The movement was more intense than when me and Anthony have ever played it. It was, 100%. I was just wondering who we were talking to and I asked the question. We never got your name, what is it? And this is where things go downhill. It moved to Z. Me and you were like, no, Bro, no. I'll never forget no. when it went to Z. So let me explain for those who don't know, there is a very, very powerful demon named yeah, no, no, no. I'm not Just saying type it. To, uh, write it on the screen. It. I'll say it. For anyone out there who does not want to hear the name, just yeah. skip like three seconds. Zozo. That's the name. I still heard it. Okay, anyways, so we saw that it went to Z and we're like, no, like it can't be. Like we've never contacted this demon spirit, whatever it was. It's so powerful that like we don't even know what it is. I just read online that it's only content. Did you guys hear that? that? Yeah. Okay. Look. Yeah. Anthony, you're an idiot. Dude, right after you said that. Right, well, that hasn't more. happened. Don't worry, I'm pretty Stop. sure. <gasps> it sounds close. Okay, I don't know if you guys could hear it because we're like mic'd up. Nah, they're not gonna be able to hear it. I just read something online. Supposedly, that spirit has only contacted like six people. No. No. There's no way. No. Spirits cannot like fake their identity about that person. So it, it was him a thousand percent. And they're all like in a history line thing. I so are we? a part of history so like if we had a way to prove it then we're a part of that list so after the z it went to oh no why no 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 anthony why? we're all freaking out i still didn't know who the zio was who is this anthony and i immediately wanted to end the game because we're like we can't let it continue so we asked if if we can end the game and it went to goodbye and we all just let go wait say goodbye say goodbye go over goodbye bye <gasps> 
Why are you guys doing that? Why are you guys doing that? I accidentally dropped the planchette out of fear off of the board. I turned the camera to myself and I'm freaking out. My face is red. Wait, I'm crying. Hold on. I'm actually crying right, right now. Let's get out. And we just felt like we didn't get enough answers. We were like, we have to go back in. We're about to play, but out here. We're just going to see if we get any other spirit. But if we get the same one, then we're ending it. And that's it. We were really interested because we've never really seen anyone contact that spirit. At least I haven't. Have you? No. We convinced Jessica to do it, which didn't take much convincing because <laughs> she was scared, but not as scared as she was going to get. Uh -huh. so. I had no idea what was coming. Put our hands back on the board. Are there any spirits in here that would like to contact us? Yes or no? Are there any spirits in this room that would like to contact us? Yes or no? Went straight to yes. Okay. We asked for the name. What's your name? Went to Z. <sighs> okay, go ahead. Went to O. Went to Z. Okay. Went to O. Are you gonna let it finish? Yeah. Should we or no? We let it complete the name. What did we do? We freaked out no. again. We asked if we can end the game. Can we please end the game? We ended it. We took our hands off the planchette. I felt some crazy energy. Uh I feel so weird. I don't know. Do you not? Do you guys not feel weird? This was different. It felt like there was something in the room with us hovering over us, yeah. pushing our hands down. Yeah. Like, oh, it was weird. But little did we know what was gonna happen uh -huh. to Jessica. I think I started realizing how like scary it was about to get. Do you remember how you felt after the second game? I do remember like feeling nervous and then I had like a pressure on my chest. It kind of felt like somebody was stabbing you <laughs> in your heart. As soon as Jessica explained how she was feeling, I felt the pressure off me come off. Yeah. So it's like it yeah. like detached itself to me and went to the most vulnerable person uh -huh. in the room. Yeah. They say that whenever people are in the presence of spirits, they feel like something's choking them, like they can't breathe. And that's literally what you just experienced. Yeah, it was like that. And that's when I started noticing that, yo, like this could kind of get dangerous. Like, I don't know what to do. So we decided to try it again. <laughs> Um, like, Here, why don't we to get on the board home. one more time? So we go in for the third time. We ask the same question that we usually do to start it off. Are there any spirits in this room that would like to contact us? Yes or no? It said yes. There's someone here. We asked for the name. It went to Zio. Do you remember like what you said? Uh -huh. I remember asking you like, are you sure you want to finish? Are you going to let it finish? Yeah. Should we or no? We let it finish mm -hmm. and it spelled the name that I'm not going to say. Mm -hmm. We were just like, hey, can we be at peace? Can we be at peace with you? What did it say? No. As we're like trying to talk about it, it starts moving to the Z, Z. to the O, to the Z, O, Z, mm -hmm. O, Z, O, Z, O, fast. Mm -hmm. I've never felt it this powerful and we're freaking out. Mm -hmm. And we're like, can we please end the game? And it finally went to goodbye. Can we please say goodbye? Oh my god, that's you don't that's understand it, how it, bad that is. It. Right after we ended it is when things kind of started to like pick up. <sighs> I think I told you guys turn off the cameras because I kind of started feeling weird and I didn't want to be filmed. I had to like cut the recording and stuff because she was like crying and she was about to throw up. So we turn off the cameras and Jessica runs to the bathroom. Me and Anthony started looking things up on this demonic spirit. The first thing we saw is that it likes attacking women. The fire right now uh -huh, is spinning, is going crazy yeah, right like now. Like a tornado. I remember going into the bathroom. I remember feeling like dizzy, lightheaded, just like really weird. I felt like I needed to throw up. Remember when I came out, I looked like bright red. My eyes Your were eyes bloodshot. Were blood My red. eyes, yeah. Bro, it I felt like you hadn't slept in weeks. Yes. Yeah. It felt like I really needed to cry. That was like kind of like my main emotion was just she cried. crying. Oh, my stomach was killing me. Was it like burning? Yes. I just couldn't help but feel like it was all my mm -hmm. fault too because I'm like, dude, I brought this here. We contacted the literally the most horrific demon yeah. that you possibly can in my cousin's home. Mm -hmm. I'm not joking, not in my no, house. I'm not joking. I don't either. care anymore, not in my house. Okay. So I was still feeling like ill, like not right. Something wasn't right. But I will say as soon as you and Anthony left with the Ouija board, I did feel like a weight was lifted off my shoulders almost. I felt like kind of like the energy that was hovering over me or like putting that pressure on me kind of went away. Now I feel good. Like I feel fine now. That's absolutely yeah. insane. I still I still remember um, when I burned a Ouija board yes. in the past. I burned it at my old house mm -hmm. because I didn't want it following me to the new house. It was in the new house. It reappeared it, in it, my garage. Yeah. All the OGs remember that. It just felt like I couldn't get rid of yeah. it. Like burning it wasn't a solution. We had a priest come bless the house. Yeah. To this day, I still feel like there's something attached to me, which is why I'm actually seeing a medium very, very soon. And I'm gonna document the whole thing. I'm sorry I got you possessed. It's okay, I'm happy it's all over with and now we 
can talk about it and help other people not be as dumb as I was stay away from the Ouija Take boards. it from someone who got possessed. <laughs> Number two, flooded in the haunted tunnel. It was a typical day. I wanted to go to the tunnel with Anthony, literally just to make a YouTube video. Let's see how far we can go. I still remember the weather was like sprinkling. Foggy day. Foggy. So we're just like, yeah, let's go to the tunnel. Let's make a video and we start our venture. Yeah. We were actually parked in front of the haunted tunnel. And would you like to tell them what time it is, Anthony? 10 17. I'm actually super scared. The rain is getting so much harder, dude. We start going deep, right? Like we the water, no, the water was, it was coming out. Like I remember we, we saw it flowing in the tunnel, but we never thought like this is going to be dangerous. We're like, all right, let's just go in. And remember we went in, everything was fine. We had the flashlights. It was little by little. The water kept getting more intense. It kept filling a little more. And we noticed that like, hey, like we've never had to like stand like this before in this yeah. part of the tunnel. We had to keep but extending our legs. Like, yo, the water is kind of going up like the levels. But it wasn't to a point where you could notice. It was almost at the point where you don't notice till it's too late because of how slow it was filling. Oh my God, the water is so deep. Oh my God, it got so much worse. I can't. Ah! Anthony, there's a lot. Anthony, there's a lot of water. There's a lot out of nowhere, like the water level, I would say it was like up to here. Yeah. We start realizing, yo, like, I think we have to go back. This oh, is not didn't. normal. We didn't, we kept walking, dude. It was also getting louder and louder because what we didn't realize what was happening outside is that it started raining extremely hard. Yeah. Hey, Anthony, what's going on? And we had no idea because you don't know what's happening. You're under like 15 feet of freaking concrete. Yeah. The way we noticed is that the water level kept rising and rising and the pressure was getting harder and harder and, and like to the point where it was starting to get hard to walk. Kind of reminded me of the Titanic. I'm not gonna lie. Like you just start seeing like water come around from the corner. Oh my God. Fast. The water was moving so fast. Imagine if you put a treadmill on like the highest speed and you were standing on the side of the treadmill and then you try to put your foot down. Yes. That's what happened happens to you yes. when you touch the water. That's how fast the water was going. Every time we go to the tunnel, I brought like a dumb weapon, dude. So I had a machete that my dad bought. We didn't think anything's gonna happen there, but you know, like, oh, we see a spider or we see a, a tree branch in the way, it would be fun to cut it, you know? So, is that a bat? You wanna know something crazy real quick before we continue? There was a bat in the daytime on our house. Oh, that's so gross and, and weird. And I it up. It was an omen of something less than death. Are you serious? Yeah. So back to the story is like Brian's running behind me and I had the machete. Something grabs my leg. One thing that you could argue is, oh, it was a branch. I promise you guys. It was like a hand grabbed my leg and I felt it pulsing, grabbing and letting go, grabbing and letting go. I grabbed the machete and swiped it. I was screaming at Brian and it lets go, but like we're still moving at high speeds. If you fall, you're done. You're, you're done. done. Oh my God, I was using every strength in my yeah. body possible to make sure I stay afloat. And I was fat and I was struggling. We're getting out of the tunnel. You see the exit. You're like, oh my God, I'm going to survive. Now you're about to fall in a like lake of infected water with animals in it that you don't know. Frogs, really bad things are disposed of in that lake, like bottles, needles, glass, stuff like that. There's a little platform right before you get in the tunnel. I jump out. I fall on the ground. I get up and Brian's coming in so I'm fast. I'm on the way, bro. He's on the way. I'm in I look. Bro. I was like this. Look like. Bro, it was like he was, was literally flying. He was flying through the water. There's no way he's going to be able to jump to the side because he was in a way worse position than I was. So what I did was I stood on the side. I grabbed Brian, pulled him to the side. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. No way. Die. Literally, I got it all on camera and then I pointed the camera because like the water was flowing at such you an intense speed that I remember pointing the camera. I'm like, we were in that. I've never seen water move that fast in my whole entire life. Dude, when we came outside, bro, was it raining? No. Nope. It wasn't no. raining. How weird is that? It just stopped raining when we got out. But keep in mind, this tunnel is miles and miles long. So it could have been raining at a different area in, in San Diego. Oh, like sorry. we don't know. Our 
parents are Arab, right? Like if you hurt your knee or something, they're not like, oh, let's go to the doctor. They're like, oh, man up, you know? Yeah. My mom like saw the toll that it took on me really bad when I woke up the next morning and I was going to make coffee. My mom comes to the kitchen to like open the cabinet or something and I got so scared. I like jumped and turned around because I literally had like PTSD. PTSD. I had PTSD from almost dying. I was scared of everything for like two days straight after that. Yeah. My mom told me that she was going to take me to therapy. We literally almost died and I feel like the video doesn't even do it justice. No way. When I watch it, I'm like, dude, it this doesn't, doesn't look, look as no. fast as it really felt when we were in that moment. I'm glad we're here to tell the story. That was crazy. Never again. Never. Number three, the possessed prank gone wrong. There was this time we played the Ouija board. Yes, I will admit I begged Brian to play the Ouija board. So it wasn't his idea. I didn't believe in it. Yeah, as like a lot of people don't or didn't believe it, like Jessica, again, like you were kind of skeptical about it at yeah. first, right? We played the Ouija board. Nothing really happened to you. You said you did feel a little weird in the moment. I just felt like lightheaded and dizzy, but I was like, oh, maybe it's the adrenaline rush. Like. I didn't think this was a common feeling that everyone had whenever they had like a bad experience. Everything was fine. And fast forward about, I think a week, you decided to pull a prank that you thought was a good idea. I decided to pretend that I was possessed. That prank, did you feel anything in the moment? Like you were obviously in character. Okay, one, I couldn't pause the prank. Then you would know that I was like messing with you. I couldn't just be like, hey Brian, I feel really weird. But then also it went along with the video. Remember in the video, I kept saying, I feel weird. I feel Feel weird, but there was like truth to it. Are you okay? I feel weird. I was literally pretending I was possessed, so that would have been the perfect moment for something to just like come in, you know what I mean? Yeah. So in that moment, did you feel vulnerable? Like I think I put myself in the most vulnerable position because I was literally inviting something in. So vulnerable and something is taking over, but you can't like snap out of it. Like you're now in that act. Exactly. I still remember at times you were laughing. <laughs> what are you laughing for? Honestly, I was laughing because I was scared. I felt like something was taking over me that I was like, okay, this is weird. But I had to like carry on with the prank. Can you please stop? <laughs> okay, get up. Get out for what? I'm not room. leaving my room. Brian, get out. I'm scared. Brian, get out of here. And it's like, you say that like you don't remember some parts of it. Honestly, yeah. Felt like I was only carrying this prank on for like five minutes, but then whenever we watched the footage, it was like an hour long of footage. I was actually scared. I locked myself in the bathroom. <laughs> she came towards me. I locked, Scary. bro, I locked myself in the bathroom and I couldn't tell when she was like talking. She was like, Brian, I was just kidding. It was a prank. I'm like, how do I know? After I realized that it was a prank and everything was good, Noor was telling me off camera that she literally did feel weird throughout the prank. I was literally like chugging water. Like, like I was like, I don't know what would make me feel better. And this yeah. was after the camera was cut and everything. Kind of like the same symptoms that Jessica was experiencing. Sounds like it is. So the next morning I wake up to a call from Noor as to what happened to you overnight after that. So if you want to explain to everyone, this is actually crazy. First, I'm going to start off by saying that I have this bracelet. It's like a Catholic saint. It's like Saint Christopher and it's known for protection. So I woke up in the middle of the night with the urge to throw up. So I run to the restroom and throw up. So the same as Jessica. Exactly the same exact symptoms as Jess. So then I go back to my bed and I notice that my bracelet is laying there like right next to my pillow. So how long was the bracelet on your wrist prior to it like Dude, like coming years. Off? years. Like I would say I wore it for like two to three years. Like that bracelet was literally tied onto my wrist. Like it never came off. It never what came off. Dude, imagine like in your sleep something no, 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 no. Don't came to you and untied it. And laid it neatly. Laid it neatly. It was literally laid out like neatly under tied right next to me. So not only that, but Noor, something very recent just happened to you, right? Yes, with Anthony. What happened with me? What have you been doing on YouTube? Yeah. My series? Your series, your Ouija board series. Yeah. I'm going over Anthony's house to like help him with the series or whatever, and I pick up a Ouija board on the way, put it in my trunk, drove to Anthony's, and like I handed it to you, right? Yeah. I just felt really weird. I felt super dizzy. Little did I know that was like, we were kind of inviting everything back in. Why do you say inviting it back? What happened? So I have like these like crosses on my nails, right? And usually when they fall off, the whole thing falls off, like the whole decal. Only one arm of the cross fell off. Oh my God, the fire is going oh crazy. No, 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 no. That was actually really scary. 
Dude, that's like impossible. Like someone had to like literally rip off only one arm. Yeah, it's actually weird. What yeah. What does that mean? Like this is also where we want you guys to come in. If you're very experienced or like knowledgeable in this field. Or maybe if you field, have, just have a theory of. Yeah. Yeah. Like a cross, a part of the cross breaking off. Like what could that mean? After she went to Anthony's house, hearing a ton of Ouija board stories. Comment down below what you guys think it meant. So at first I thought it was a coincidence and I looked at my other finger and like the cross was like fully intact. If this is a sign, like a warning sign, then the same exact thing will happen to this cross. And that same exact day, I was pumping gas and I looked down on my finger no. and the other arm, the right oh, arm I of both of them. That. Look, it's literally the right arm of both crosses. Wait, both of them are off? Both of them. Usually like nail art like that, like decals, the they're one thing, piece. Yeah. Yeah. They don't come off in chunks like that. I tried picking at it, like I tried ripping like the other side off and like it just won't come off. This is just like warning you guys not to mess with it because at the end of the day it's better to be safe than sorry because we experience like you two experience the worst of it just don't mess with that stuff number four a ghost controlling me in my sleep so when i was around 20 years old this is when i was living at my old house you guys all know yes haunted af the most haunted house of all time i personally hate that house it doesn't feel like my childhood home anymore my brother and i went to investigate it like two weeks ago and there's spirits there i watched that video and that was a pretty terrifying video yeah so oh, oh. If you guys can't see it, the fire keeps on like spinning like a tornado. Yeah. So back in 2017, I was experiencing a lot of haunted paranormal stuff that I would document for you guys. I decided to set up a camera in my room to record me sleep. I don't know why, sometimes I'd wake up with scratch marks on my back. I would experience sleep paralysis. It's probably one of the most terrifying things you can experience. Has yeah. any of you guys I have it? not. You so literally feel like there's someone like yeah. on top of you or like you start seeing things and you just can't move. So here are some photos of how you might be feeling in the moment, but to give you guys like a quick rundown of it, it feels like something is on your chest, weighing you down. You can't move at all. You can't talk, you can't scream. And then the worst of it all, if your eyes are open, you will see a figure walk up to you. And this is my personal story is my door was open. For the most part, when you get sleep paralysis is when you sleep on your back. I always avoid sleeping on my back now, but all of a sudden, it's kind of what we were talking about earlier. You let something take over over your body because you're so like vulnerable so like obviously right before you go to sleep that's when you're at your most vulnerable state and they say like sleeping on your back is where you get like the most rest or like it's mm -hmm. like, like the, yeah. deepest the deepest sleep, deepest sleep yeah. when you're on your back that's when your heart starts slowing down and you feel like you're gonna yeah. you're falling that's on your back too so sometimes you feel yourself going into sleep paralysis but you're so relaxed that you can't snap out of it i see a black figure walk to the door and stand there and stare at me and i'm trying to scream for help it's like like your eyes are moving you could yeah. see everything but you can't talk you can't talk and then you can't move you can't like wave your arms and then you see the figure walk towards you get on top of your bed and stand over you after that sleep paralysis happened i asked my dad if he could set up a camera in my room to see if i could capture it because that was probably like my third time i got sleep paralysis and of course tying back to the ouija board it was after i started messing with the ouija board i've never got sleep paralysis until after the ouija board it was about that time to go to bed i woke up reviewed the footage i actually turned the camera on right when i woke up like my vlogging camera and recorded my first initial reaction to seeing the footage like i didn't want to watch it first and then record it for my vlog i wanted to like capture my raw reaction and bro the scratch marks were me in the weirdest way i was scratching myself super hard you gave yourself Aww. the scratch mark yes okay i'm literally scratching my freaking body what the hell what the hell i'm legit just scratching my body the control over your hand this is the crazy part so this was the worst thing that i saw i was just laying on my side and out of nowhere my arm just goes like this right it's normal how is that normal no no when you're when you're asleep. asleep you know you just move around but it wasn't like a like okay like this it was slow it was like this and it went down like that uh -huh. after like 10 seconds you see it come back up and then like fall on the other side okay now it's regular motion oh hold on, hold on. No. Oh my God. No, mom. Did you see that? Like what someone was grabbing your arm and moving it, it. Almost as if something like pushed my arm back and like released it. When I saw that, bro, I was like, there's no way this is actually happening to me. What the hell, dude? I don't remember this. Like I'm full on asleep at this moment. Look when it gets pushed back. 
People do not do that in their sleep. The night before I had sleep paralysis and the next night that happened. That's so, so creepy. I tried investigating more and- Every time you investigate, let me guess, the ghost hides itself when you try to get it on camera. 100%. I think a lot of people after were like commenting like, yo, this made me want to record myself when I sleep. Cause That's like, it so is crazy. I just thought that uh -huh. we should record ourselves. Uh -huh. No, I just like, I'm scared to actually um, witness something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to record myself after that. I took the camera out of the room after that one. I have no idea what this could possibly be. It could be ghosts, it could be spirits, it could be demons, it could be aliens for all I know. That's what I believe. I believe it's some kind of alien thing. Really? Yeah, I swear. I would kind of be less scared if it was aliens. Have you heard they could like mess with like the magnetic field of the yeah. world? Universe is huge. The smartest scientists have said it's almost 100% that there's other humans out there. Yeah. They could be messing with Earth. That's insane. Like, that's just crazy to me. And I Did you guys see that? Oh my God. God. <laughs> Dude. Right when you said they mess with the earth, yeah. the freaking fire went into a tornado. I think I'm done talking about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think this is where we just end the entire yeah. video. This is the part two you guys have all been asking for. I'm telling you, we have tons of stories. It was fun sitting here with my family and sharing our experiences with you guys. Learn from us. Do not mess with anything that's on the other side. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. You know, just drop a like. It's easy. It's like a second. Bro, it's, it's literally just like and subscribe and then click off my channel. That's it. Like, just like, subscribe, exit out, turn off your computer. All right, bye guys. Peace. <laughs>